Hi everybody, it's me, Teresa Perrin, and I want to discuss ticker SMMT with you today. Um, if you follow this channel, you are well aware that this has been on my radar for quite some time. I've actually been following this since August, and it is one of my favorite tickers at the moment. Um, it has made significant moves to the upside, and guys, I think that we are getting the pullback I was hoping for. It's actually a little bit more of a pullback than I was hoping for, but it's important because we need to consolidate here so that we can make our next move up, which is why I think it's an important time to bring it to your attention because I like the level that it's at and I think it will do some consolidating and potentially tomorrow make another move after it's done to the upside. So let's get started. Please remember that nothing I say is financial advice and always do your own DD. And guys, if it consolidates, it could take a day or two before it makes its next leg up, but I'm just trying to see where it's at and how it's going, but it seems like a lot of momentum is starting to come into this ticker. At least that's what I noticed today, so we'll see if it holds through. Okay, guys, for reference today, our low of day was $3.36. Our high was $5.40, and we are currently sitting at $4.24. We are down eight cents in the after hours. We closed the day, I believe, at 4.32 today um, and ended the day up 19.67%. However, we were up, um, I think, around almost 40%, give or take, um, on the day at the high. So, guys, it was moving far too fast. And I kept saying, I'm hoping it gets a pullback soon because the whole key here is to make gains and then pull back some, consolidate, and then make your next leg up. You don't wanna move up too quickly because that's when you get these horrible, horrible dumps. Um, so, you know, it couldn't sustain a hold of over $2 on the day. It needed to pull back a little bit, which it did. Um, and now let's look for the next leg. As you can see, the inflow was much more than the outflow today. Um, we had a net inflow of 6.16. Inflow was 45.18 with an outflow of 39.03. So guys, again, that is very important because you want to see that. Now, interestingly enough with this ticker, um, the Fintel information that I'm gonna read doesn't match what I think is really going on here because check this out. You do not see this very often. Insiders own 90.84% of this stock, guys. And they've beat this down hard. So I don't think insiders are gonna be the ones selling. Institutions only own 1.74% and others, meaning retail investors, own 7.42%. Now guys, can you believe that at 7.42 cents, that's all the retail owners that there is in the stock? It's very, very small. And the institutions are very, very small. Again, this is primarily insider. So how does this stock move the way it does? Well, my guess is because insiders aren't selling. They're probably buying up this company knowing its true value. And um, especially if you go back and do your DD or go look at another video I've done on it, I discuss the... Um, I believe I discussed it there. I know that I've discussed it at market um, on my morning watch list, but they definitely um, have had a recent deal um, and as far as one of their drugs go. And guys, this is huge and brings a lot of money to the table. So as you can see, there's only one analyst that has ranked it so far and they read it a strong buy with a $5 price target. Now, guys, it is very hard to get analysts to rank stocks when they are below $5 and really below $10. You don't see a lot of them, um, you know, running out to give them a rating. However, as the price moves up and interest comes in, I think you'll see more and more start to look at this. Now, why do I think this stock is moving the way that it is? There are very few shares available in my opinion. And I think that a lot of the shares that they're using are probably naked, um, meaning that they don't really have them because look who owns all of these. And are they hiding them through the options pool? It's possible. I really don't know how the game is being played, but I do know that with 90% insider ownership, 
there is very little room when this stock starts moving the way that it does for retail to jump in, which can spike the price quickly. Now, I also believe that there's people day trading it, which is why you see the sell-offs towards the end of the day when it moves. But guys, this doesn't match what we're seeing here. Look at this. It's showing that the short interest is only 0.83%. Now that's probably more like what it should be because of the insider ownership. But look at there's no shares available to borrow again. And look at this cost to borrow. It's between 95 and 110%. Does that sound like a stock that has a short interest of less than 1%? Why would they be charging so much? And look at on the 8th, it got up to 512%. And I wouldn't be surprised if it gets there again as this continues moving guys there's something more to this picture that doesn't match this information please remember that shorts do not have to disclose their picture their their position so this is solely a tool and as you can see you know it's not all that great unless you look at all the pictures and put the puzzle together because check it the short volume ratio hasn't been in the past two weeks under 50%. Does that sound like a, a stock that has zero, uh, has one percent, less than 1% short interest when every single day for the past two weeks and probably for several months, over 50% of the shares traded have been shorted through the dark pool? Guys, do the math. It doesn't add up. So um, at any rate, today was the smallest or next to the smallest that we've seen um, in the past two weeks. The lowest it's gotten was 51.12. Today was 51.19%. That's the short volume ratio we're referring to. But look at the highest, 69.79%. Now, looking at this picture, something tells me that this is about to massively explode. And I think it was starting to erupt earlier today. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe it cools off a little bit tomorrow and then tomorrow or Wednesday, it breaks out even higher. Now, this is a failure to deliver. As you can see, it's not being hidden here, guys, because we're not seeing them. And look at the price. A month ago, this was trading under $1. Very, very interesting, right? And that's how long I've been watching it. And the reason that I started watching it was because I saw it spike over the summer to like $2, never heard the name before, just happened to hear it on my scanner, look, decided to look at it, saw it pull back down to that $1 range and decided to buy a single call option far away. I think I bought it for January. Um, I think it's the one that I bought for like 35 cents, to be honest with you, that's now worth over $2. Um, and I just bought that one to just see what it did because I noticed there were strange things going on in the options chain too. So, hence, it made me wonder. And guys, I have to be honest, I think that options have something to do with where they're hiding the shorts here. Just because of what I've seen happen with that one little option contract over the past couple months, that I basically bought as an experiment because I thought the price action was strange. So, I've hence since then I've bought more. That was a 250 strike. I bought some for the five dollar strike as well that I did not sell today because I think that this is going to go higher, um, and I have time. But anyways, look at this. The technical analysis is showing short, medium, and long term move to the upside, and five bullish and four bearish signals. So guys, like I said, don't be surprised if we see a little bit of that pullback. Do some consolidation again, but look at before it made that move up to five today in that three dollar, it consolidated for one, two, three, four, five, about six days, pretty much. I mean, look at you could draw a line across. Actually, for the past seven trading days, you can draw a line across, and they'd all touch at one point, right? So we are due for a move. So maybe tomorrow we do head further up. Um, definitely worth keeping an eye on guys and I'm telling you I wouldn't bring it to your attention if I didn't think that there was something interesting happening here and that this ticker was about to make a nice move to the upside. Anyways that's all I got for you.